Hey everyone, it's Adriana again. Um, this video is in response to Teen Witch 777, um, who wanted me to do a video about um, the Ducante and the Goetic hierarchies and the differences between them and then my personal experiences with each one. Um, let's say, let's just start, start out by saying that I started out um, as a as a theistic Satanist, um, as a matter of fact, as a um, Christian Satanist, is how I really started my path early, early on. And uh, I ended up starting out in demonolatry with the Ducante hierarchy. The Ducante hierarchy, um, a lot of people will say, yeah, a lot of the demons taken from that hierarchy um, are from Judeo-Christian hierarchies. And, but the reality is if you look at a lot of those demons, some of them are just old gods. Um, whereas with the Goetic hierarchy, um, I actually did work with Goetia a lot too when I was in my traditional theistic Satanism phase. But uh, the Goetic hierarchy um, are the jinn of King Solomon and um, basically the genie. Uh, the, the spirits you keep in the, in the brass vessel and you would, you know, I mean you'd make your three wishes or whatnot. That's where all those stories come from, our um, goetic demons. I am, some people call them spirits, goetic spirits. Um, so, um, I, I've had experiences with both. Um, my first experiences with the goetic demons were with evocation and um, your standard uh, goetic ceremonial magic. Um, I used to do magic by the book. Believe it or not, a lot of people sit there and tell me nowadays, oh, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. No, I, I've done it that way. It's not that I haven't um, practiced ceremonial magic by the book. Um, I've just found that it hasn't, uh, that modified it works better for me. Um, so anyway, I find the Goetic Demons a bit more um, aggressive and forthright, but they're also better um, scrying demons, if that makes any sense. If you're doing any type of fire scrying, mirror scrying, crystal scrying, um, and you want answers, Goetic Demons come through so much clearer. Um, whereas, uh, Ducante Demons, as many of them are old gods, tend to be more wisdom oriented. They tend to be a lot more subtle. Um, you know, they don't, they don't have a lot of fan flare and bright, uh, bright flashes of light when they uh, communicate with you. They're, they're, they are more subtle, they are calmer um, types of entities, it seems, or energies, depending on your personal uh, view of that. Um, just like I said in an earlier video, uh, just like Enochian spirits are a lot different. They have a more aggressive, uh, palpable energy that's kind of like in your face. So. I think when we talk about hierarchy, since you know, since a demon is not a hierarchy, a demon's a demon. I think when we're really talking about hierarchies, we're really talking about the classification of a type of demon. For example, like I like I said, you know, your Enochian spirits, for example, are your just very energetic. I mean, in physical beings, it will strike fear at the very core of a physical being if they don't know what they're dealing with and they're not understanding it. Once they come to under, once you come to understand. Enochian spirits, they're not scary at all. Um, they're actually, it's just, they're just very powerful. They just have that particular energy about them, that, that uh, particular vibration. Whereas Goetic spirits do still kind of have more of an aggressive thing, but it's not so much in your face. It's like, eh, it's kind of like being circled by a mountain lion, for example. Um, it, it will, it, it may trigger or may not your flight or fight response, um, depending on what you're doing. Um, and then of course, like I said, you've got your Ducante hierarchy. Now Ducante died before he finished his hierarchy. And what he did was he went through a, a series of like four or five different families, their grimoires, and found all of the common demons that appeared in each one of those grimoires. And with that, he, he pulled it all together and put it in the hierarchy. That's how he started it. That's how he got his base hierarchy. He separated them into families based on um, what, the, what the demonic force itself represented. So, for example, all of your love, lust, and friendship demons, all your relationship-type demons, 
end up in one family. All of your death and change demons end up in their own family. All of your, you know, many of your war and aggression demons will end up in a family. That sort of thing. A lot of your water emotional wisdom oriented demons ended up in a family. Your healing demons ended up in a family. So that's kind of how that hierarchy is, is situated. Um, now, as for my personal experience with both, my first experience was with the Goetic hierarchy when I was a theistic traditional Satanist. And then we kind of moved on from there and it became uh, more of a, I kind of started getting more into the medieval hierarchies and then the Ducante So it was really natural for me to pick up on the Ducante hierarchy. Um, and then I've known many Goetic demonolators for many years. And it's only been recently in the last six years that I've really gone back to um, Goetia quite a bit and, um, and working with the Goetic demons because I really needed to get in there and get rid of my bias that, I had, that had been created within me from the practice of ceremonial magic years and years before. Um, and I had a friend who helped me through that and his name is Goetic Nick. Uh, shout out to Nick there. And um, he kind of helped me work through that and I learned a great deal about um, the Goetic demons and now I work with them quite regularly alongside with the demons of the Ducante hierarchy. So I, I jump hierarchies. I'm, I'm a soft polytheist pantheist. I don't, um, I don't believe that oh, you have to stick with one hierarchy. I, my personal pantheon consists of ancient Egyptian deities, uh, Canaanite and Western Semitic deities, and Goetic deities. So, or, or I say deity, I use it intercha interchangeably with the word demon, divine intelligence, because for me the divine intelligence is what I worship, um, the demons, what I worship, and therefore they are all deities to me. So that's why I use all those words interchangeably, because I know a lot of people that may bug them. Anyway, um, that's kind of my view on uh, the Goetia and the Ducante hierarchies. And if anyone has any more questions, just let me know.